part two of this skills practice is select and move. So you can choose an image here and um, by clicking here and downloading an image, um, I'll walk you through the steps. This time, um, I already have an image open. I chose to use this one, just maybe a little different from the sample, um, but still one of the images is that, that you can choose. Um, for this, it's recommended that you try the quick selection tool. So the quick selection tool is also um, automated where Photoshop will try to predict what you want to select. And this tool actually works similar to a brush. Um, so you kind of um, click and drag and sweep around. And I guess in a sense, you're kind of painting uh, what your selection is. And then here, it's an automated task, so Photoshop tries to predict what you're trying to select. And in this case, it works well because there's a big difference between um, between the pixels. And so Photoshop kind of knows where, where to stop. Um, so as an automated tool in something like this, it is a good example of a scenario to use the quick selection tool. So to refine the selection, I will zoom in a little. And the way the quick selection works to refine, you can go bigger or smaller. Um, I'm gonna choose a smaller brush here because I want to just make smaller adjustments so I can include. And I don't have to hold down the shift key here. It will automatically just keep adding to the selection. If I want to subtract from the selection, say here it's going too far up, I hold down the Option key, and if I hold down the Option key, you see how um, the minus comes inside the brush or the Quick Selection tool? Then it will take away from the selection. So I'll move down here. I'll do the same thing here and su subtract this part. And maybe add just a little bit more, oh, making the brush a little bit smaller. And I'll continue to do that until my selection is refined to my liking. And you will do the same. Um, I would recommend just not going at your first, your first roundabout, but practice, because practice is what is going to make you really good at this. Um, so I think my selection is just about where I want it, maybe a little bit less right there okay so once again I'll zoom out here I'll recommend that once you have your selection that you save it so here I will save my selection statue and I'll save it as a new channel and again it will always be there in case you need to go back to it um, in this case for this skills practice, you're gonna to want to move it. So I can move this in two different ways. If I hold down the command key, I get my move tool. You can also go up here and select the move tool and you'll be able to just move uh, that selection that you created. So just simply move it to the right or to the left and that is what you need to do for this skills practice.